Um, we have Kevin White over here on the keys. And the last person, last senior solo you heard before our, in our pre-concert set is Cole Lineman. All righty, we'll get our concert started this evening with Concert Choir right here. They have a couple of numbers for you. So please take a moment to turn your cell phones off and everything, and we're, we're mighty glad you're here. Thank you for spending a part of your evening. Thank you. 
So, we're going to have another set of senior solos. First up is Carlos Fleming, um, followed by Van Slangerup and Kyla Rose. We'll get the stage set for them in just a moment. Um, while we're doing that, the Carlos Fleming, the guitar, and where's Carlos? There he is. Okay, there he is. All right. He's, while he's making his way up, um, I'm so grateful. I, I, we, I, it's been a long time since we've seen each other. I thought we were going to get to see each other back in January for our giant fine arts showcase and symphony concert and everything. Thank you, Omicron. That did not happen. But an even bigger thanks goes to Pfizer and Moderna and Johnson and Johnson because we all get to be here tonight without tickets. <laughs> And as, as many of us can be here as wants to. When you came in this evening, I hope you took a moment to look around the lobby. There's a beautiful art show installed currently, and that is done by our visual arts teachers here, uh, Marcel Vignari, Sam Pagny, and Jen Kett. And these are all paintings that were inspired by, it's a really famous quilter. I don't know her. I just learned about her. Named Bisa Butler. Does anybody know her? Um, she's, she's a, uh, a one, I guess she's in about in her 40s. She lives in New Jersey. But she started doing quilting, celebrating African-American heroes and people that just inspired her. So these paintings you see in the lobby, and I hope you will take a few moments after the concert to enjoy those. Um, these, are, these have been painting by, painted by our art students here at Charlottesville High School. Are you ready, Carlos? All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Fleming.
Thank you. How we all doing tonight? Always wanted to do that. Stole ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I will have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your. I don't want to set the world on fire, honey. I love you too much. I just want to start a great big flame down in your heart. You see, way down inside of me, darling, I have only one desire. And that one desire is you. And I know ain't nobody else going to do. I've lost all him for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you'd feel the same, I'll have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Trying to hold my breath, let it stay this way. Can't let it be smaller than you set up a dream of making it get in.
Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much, Carlos, Van, and Kyla, for your senior solos. There's more to come. We have two more sets of those. Um, making their way to the stage now is Nightingales. There are all women's choir here. Um, back in February, once we could actually do things again, the Nightingales participated in a benefit concert for the She Shelter, which is the shelter for help in emergency. Uh, it's an annual concert held at Monticello High School called Winter Songs. And that is, uh, it's a day for women's choirs to get together, workshop about positive life experiences and how to really take care of yourself in healthy ways. So it's a good experience. And I, I think we raised uh, about 5000 or so dollars that day. So it's a good, good part to be, be a part of. Okay. We have a couple of numbers with you. And our first piece is Voice in the Wind, our Percussionist this evening is Tommy Rochello.
Right. So next up in our, in our senior solo set, we have Rowan Miller and Isabel Bunchman McCoy and Bob Kamoff. Talk that. 
that. <laughs> My accompanist, Daniel Kirkland. You know, I was standing backstage thinking, in that last set of singers, the first one when I went to middle school to audition Rowan Miller, he said, I am not taking choir. And guess where he's been for the last three years, so that's good. Um, and then, Isabel is so sweet and calm and quiet and such a reserved nature. When she sang yesterday, 
the entire room lost their minds that Isabel <laughs> made such a gorgeous sound, and we were so proud of her. And the last one, Bob. All right, so I've known all the cam offs. He's the first one I actually got to teach. Um, and his mom, he goes, my youngest one can sing. I'm like, ah, oh, well, I've seen no evidence of that. Well, we're, <laughs> we're so glad he showed up his senior year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, behind me now are Charlottesville singers. Uh, this is our advanced choir here. They're going to do two short little numbers for you, to, in the interest of time. Um, they recently went to our district assessment uh, up in Orange County back, well, I guess it was last month now, and received all superior ratings and thus with the orchestra and the band also receiving all superior ratings earned us the status of Blue Ribbon School as awarded by the Virginia Music Educators Association.
next set of senior solos will be Preme, who it will be accompanied by Sam Funk, Ben Lohr, and Lolly Lynch. While they're making their way to the stage, um, the, we, the arts, we, all of us, whether we do this or this, or, but we're also glad to be back together. And this has been a wonderful year in that respect. Um, the band concert is coming up Friday, May the 6th. So if you want to hear some brass and winds, that's a great opportunity. Also, Wednesday, uh, May the 18th, uh, it's a really big day here. It will be the final orchestra concert for Laura Mulligan Thomas, who has been our orchestra director for 40 years, 40 maybe plus. So it's going to be a gorgeous evening. If you'd like to hear some instrumental music, please come and join us. Good evening, everyone. My name is Frey May, and this is my company of Sam Funk. Today, I'm going to sing a song called You Feel Off, which um, also roughly translates to Mom's Complexion. It's for all hardworking, beautiful mothers out there, which not only embodies my mom, but everyone here. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I hope you'll be uh, patient with me tonight. That's called foreshadowing. <laughs> when I take this thing off. Okay, great. That makes it a little bit easier for me. <clears throat> Oh. 
among the fields of straw and stover, clocking in when the work day is over. I know she's never late, still anxiously I wait. Patient is the night, and how I long to see her face now. Her starry moonlit gaze now Time's a gentle stream Longer than it seems Patient is the night In it, so if you hear weird beats and then me say things to myself, that's why.
Voices, Voices of Virginia, please make your way to the stage. Um, I'd also like to say, as you can see, we, we lots of singing. Lolly, I think, is in every production in our theater department from now into the end of school, which, if you can believe, is not that long. But there are four complete shows that are going to go up in the next month. This weekend is Macbeth. So if you're a little Shakespeare, directed by um, Roxy Beebe Center, who is one of our Nightingales. Um, Dessert Theater will be the 20th through the 22nd of May. Then on the same night of the 22nd, there's a benefit for the theater department at Live Arts called Hearts for the Arts. It's a fun evening. And then on the 24th through the 27th, the school-wide musical, which got changed due to health things, um, is now, uh, bring it on, the 24th through the 27th of May, and then finally, MTE, which is our musical theater ensemble class, which is a lot of these students are in, um, they're doing John Waters Crybaby. So that's um, the 7th and the 8th of June. So lots to take advantage of. Come see some stuff. All right, um, yeah. Right here, this group started out as 12 people. No, 16, 16 people. A couple of summers ago, um, we went to our sister city in France, and we collaborated with St. Anne's Belfield and Albemarle High School, we put together a group, and we called ourselves the Voices of Virginia. So we have continued this group, and now they're a little bit larger than 16, um, but we were planning to go to our sister city in Italy last year, and that didn't happen. But um, anyway, hopefully we'll be able to do something again soon, but we have kept the group going, and here they are with on the street where you live.
as morning choir makes their way to the stage. Um, I'd like to call your attention to a couple of things that we do have on the calendar, and you'll see those in your program. Monday, the choirs, a, along with a bunch of other choirs in Charlottesville, are going to gather at St. Paul's Memorial Church right across from the rotunda. And John Rutter, a really famous British composer, has composed a piece of music for Ukraine. And the, it's called A Ukrainian Prayer. And we, our students have learned it here, along with choirs from UVA, choirs from several church congregations, Albemarle High School as well. So Monday evening, we're going to go and sing together. And we're going to also, after we finish recording, we'll go out to the steps of St. Paul's and sing it to the community. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we'd love to have you join us. Also, Sunday, May the 15th, one of the aspects of Charlottesville High School choirs is we always do something that benefits our community. Last year, we chose the Haven, which is our local day shelter, as our charity. And so on Sunday the 15th at 2 o'clock at the Haven, which is a gorgeous place in which to sing, we will join with several other choirs to present a benefit concert. So we hope you will join us for that as well. That is free to get in. Just bring your checkbook. Or, or Venmo or PayPal will have lots of payment options. Okay, there you are. All right, this is Morning Choir. These are the young people who show up one hour before they even have to be here because they want to sing. Um, it's because the, the people they meet and they like to raise their voices and it's a wonderful way to start your day. We'll be doing two songs for you this evening, Take Five and Moon Glow.
As everyone makes their way back to the stage, we have a couple of thanks, of course, to Kevin White, our amazing accompanist. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Aaron Eichhorst and all the people up on Derry Road who make Kevin possible. Uh, for many years, we did not have an accompanist, so it, it's wonderful it's to have him here. Thank you to Rod and Christina Durer in the back better known as Mr. Rod and Mrs. Mr. Rod, I think, I don't know, it's something like that. But they're doing our live stream this evening so that our family, friends, and neighbors in far-flung places can be with us this evening. And also, you see a fellow up here moving around a hall. That is Paul Rosner. He is one of our guys here that makes the magic happen. A round of applause for Paul, please. <laughs> and our sound guy in the back is Dave Stipe. Thank you, Dave Stipe. So this is the part of the program where we recognize our seniors and talk about what's going to go on with them in the future and also uh, their, uh, our senior awards. Be with you in just one moment. things up here. All right. Get to my list. Thank you for bearing with me for just a moment. Okay, here's the one. I'm going to start this evening's recognitions with someone who is not a senior, 
This is Picha Charan Siri. If you'll come join us, Picha, please. Picha has been with us this year on an exchange year from Thailand. She will return to Nong Khai, Thailand to complete her final two years at Princess Julapan Science High School. Now, first up is Jamin Ashra. Jamin will be attending James Madison University in the fall. Nate Baker will be attending PVCC in the fall. Anya Caffarillo will be attending Cornell University. Carlos Fleming will be attending Full Sail University. Did you want to shake hands or something? I don't know. I know you kind of went for it. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to leave you hanging. All right. All right. William H. Gautry will be attending Mary Washington University. Bob Kamoff is still deciding, but it's going to be awesome. We'll update you at next year's spring concert. <laughs> Eve Kiesecker will be attending Temple University. Oh, that's right. Ben Kramer is still deciding, but he said he's going to stay in Charlottesville and make our town a better place to be. That's good knowing you. It's good knowing you too, Ben. Oh. Evelyn Lepsch will be attending UVA. Ben Lohr will be attending PVCC. <laughs> Cole Lyman will be attending Wesleyan University. Lolly Lynch will be attending University of the Arts. <laughs> Catherine McGrath is still deciding, but it's going to be awesome. We will also include her in next year's updates. Pray May is also still deciding, so she'll be on the program. And, it, and before Pray May comes up, there's so much pressure. I got to know what I'm doing. You do not have to know what you're doing, because if you don't know, I don't know is the answer. And I've tried to make sure that they know that's, that's the real answer. It's okay not to know. I'm 78 years old. There's a whole lot of things I still don't know. Here we go. Here we go. Pray May. Congratulations. <laughs> Rowan Miller will be going to William and Mary. <laughs> Stevie Meyer is between UVA or VCU. No, now I'm going UVA. She's go he's going to UVA. Woo! Miles 
Miles Reed will be attending the University of Olu in Western Finland. Kyla Rose will also be attending PPCC. <laughs> Elizabeth Scharf will be attending Wheaton College. Van Slangerup will also be at PVCC this year. Margot Thompson will also be attending PVCC. Ada Trowbridge will be attending the University of Michigan. <laughs> B. Wiles will be attending VCU. Finally, Isabel Wunschman McCoy will be attending Mary Washington. Okay, so this last little bit is something that we don't usually do because it gets put on another night, but um, we're going to do it tonight. Anyway, because I want to give more awards than they will let me, so I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> the first one is the Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award. This honors an outstanding student for their creativity and musicianship. In his long career, Leonard Bernstein made an indelible mark on the musical world as a conductor, composer, and teacher. This award honors a student whose musical contributions, dedication, and creativity set them apart as deserving of the highest recognition for their achievements. This year's Leonard Bernstein Musicianship Award is given to Cole Lyman. <laughs> The reason we're laughing is, given the supply chain and the reliability of Charlottesville ma email, the uh, regular mail these days, the actual plaques did not arrive in time, <laughs> but um, they will receive them. <laughs> this year's Director's Award for Choir has been earned by two individuals. The recipients of this nationally recognized award have made outstanding contributions to the success of the choirs of Charlottesville High School and are involved in choral repertoire through a variety of choral experiences both in school and outside of school. It is a recognition of students who have truly dedicated themselves to experiencing as much choral music and, in many, and as many choirs that are available to them. This year's winners of the Director's Award for Choir are Lolly Lynch and Van Slangerup. All right, and our final award this evening, this is the, the one that, uh, this is the, the top award, the highest award that the school gives, that, that the school allows me to give, so. Um, here we go. This year's award for outstanding senior in the area of choir goes to an individual who has been an exceptional member of the choirs of Charlottesville High School throughout their four years at CHS. They have provided strong leadership, earning the respect of their peers through their preparedness, 
professional demeanor, determined spirit, and musicianship. Through competitive audition, they have earned positions in all district and all state choirs. Not only is this year's recipient an amazing singer, they also excel with poise, grace, and enthusiasm on concert stages with our string ensemble, halftime shows with our marching band, and too many sports to count. <laughs> it is with great pleasure I announce this year's award for outstanding senior in the area of choir is Evelyn Lepsch. Yeah! Okay, so this is it. We have a big grand finale for you this evening. Um, thank you so much for joining us next year. I hope I get to say, we sure would love to have you join us in the lobby for a reception afterwards. We're just not doing that just yet. Um, so next year, we have that to look forward to. Thank you all so much for coming this evening, to, for joining us. And thank you for these wonderful young people that I get to teach every single day. Thank you so much. Thank you.